Let's take a look at default templates for parts and assemblies in Creo Parametric. Whenever you create a new part or an assembly, you'll want to start off with a default template because it will contain a number of different entities that will save you time and effort, and it'll also help enforce company standards. When I click the new icon, here I have part selected. Use default template is automatically checked, but I'm going to uncheck that and browse to the load point for PTC. Inside of common files templates, there are a number of start parts and start assemblies that are provided to you. And I want to stress that these are a starting point. And let's take a look at what you get with PTC's default templates. So when I create my brand new part, first off, I have some default datums. I have three default datum planes and a default coordinate system. You might want to rename those or even add additional datums. Sometimes I'll see a company's default templates will also have a center axis. And so let me take a look at one of my default templates. For aerospace work, I have my default datum planes renamed to butt line, water line, and station, and I've renamed the default coordinate system as well. Hopping back to PTC's default template. A second thing that you'll have established for you is a set of units. And if you go to File, Prepare, Model Properties, up at the top here there is a blue hyperlink that says Change. If you click on it, it'll bring up the Units Manager. And here we have our set of units. PTC provides seven to you, but you can create your own custom sets of units. Another thing that is in your default template, a bunch of saved views. So for example, here we have back, bottom, front, left, right, top. You might want to create additional ones and I'll show you examples later on of how I've created some additional ones in my templates. Another big thing to customize, layers. If you go to the view tab, click on the layers button. Here is the layers uh, from PTC. Personally, I don't like these. I prefer them to be a little simpler. I prefer fewer layers, especially if you take a look at an assembly as it comes from the PTC templates. When I go to the layers for this, you can see that, wow, they're just a heck of a lot of them and they have kind of cryptic names. And so in my default templates, for example, for an assembly in my layers, I just have a few very simple names, axes, CSIS, data sharing features, default datums, planes, skeletons, and surfaces. Okay, also in a default template, you're going to have some different parameters. And for example, in mine, I've added a few parameters in here, for example, category, I have mine set up so that I have a pre-populated drop-down list and some other ones created in here. For example, you could have Boolean ones, which can have a value of either yes or no. And they can also have numerical values as well. In addition to having some predefined parameters, you might also have some relations. And relations are just equations that relate some dimensions and parameters to other dimensions and parameters. I don't have any in my assembly template, but in my part template, I have one that relates the weight parameter to the pro MP mass parameter that's automatically calculated. And one last thing that I'm seeing more and more in default templates is the setup for model-based definition. And so you can see that on mine over here. So for example, when I go to my saved views, I have a number of saved views that are set up for my different combination states for model-based definition. And if I click on the All tab, you can see that I have my combination states for default site map titles, properties, notes, set datums, parts list, and one for one of my assembly definitions. And so that is what you get with a default template. 
Lastly, after you set up your parts and assemblies that you want to use as your default templates, what you're going to do is you're going to point configuration options to them. So if I click File, Options, Configuration Editor, and scroll down in my config.profile, you have options like template design assembly, template sheet metal part, and template solid part, and you're going to want to have them directed to those files that you've set up. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this video.